by any of our dealers. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for BTW 21 News. I'm Luis Romero. We hope that you were able to enjoy your weekend. There's a lot that we have to get to. First, going to start off with our breaking news story that we have been covering since Sunday evening. We are continuing to cover that search, massive search, I must add, that is currently underway in the field of Bassett areas of the county. This is for an elderly man who the sheriff is, the sheriff is extremely concerned for his well-being. Henry County Sheriff Wayne Davis is reaching out to the community for assistance in locating 79-year-old Kenneth Wade Turner. Turner was last seen by family members at his residence on Massey Drive in Fieldo on Friday evening and is believed that he left on foot according to Sheriff Davis. And it's believed at this point that somewhere between Friday evening and Saturday afternoon he walked away from his home. But Mr. Turner has some medical issues including being insulin dependent, so we are concerned about his health. So we have a massive search effort going on here today. Davis said concerns arose when he failed to return home, prompting his family to report him missing on Saturday. It's well over 100 people out here today. We've uh, set up a grid and we're out in this uh, wooded area along the highways looking for Mr. Turner. We know Mr. Turner operated a business in the Maxway Shopping Center and oftentimes walked from his home to that business. So we know he was uh, physically capable of covering good distances. So we just don't know how far or where he may be at at this time. Turner is described as six feet, four inches tall, weighing 240 pounds and has gray hair. He was last seen wearing navy blue sweatpants. At this point, we want to discourage the community from self-deploying out to the scene and beginning to search for him. Because the last thing we want is for another community member to possibly get lost in the woods, get injured or anything like that. So, so please leave it up to the trained personnel. If you want to be involved, uh, continue to pray for Mr. Turner's safe return, pray for his family as well, and just uh, be a good witness. If you saw anything, please call it in and let us know. Teams have searched on land, water, and air. So at this point, we've not experienced any really cold temperatures or hot temperatures, so we are optimistic that uh, we're within a time frame that we could find him alive, get him the medical treatment he's needing, and get him returned safely to his family. We are optimistic. Anyone that has information or has seen Turner is asked to contact the Martins of Henry County Communication Center or 911. In Henry County, Luis Romero, BCW 21. And as we continue to keep you updated with some of the incidents that occurred on this weekend, we want to report a fatal crash that claimed the life of one individual on Friday. Here's what we've learned from Virginia State Police. Virginia State Police are currently investigating a two vehicle crash that was fatal and occurred Friday at around 4 p.m. The incident took place on Original Henry Road near Bellwood Road in Henry County. The crash evolved in 1996 Honda Civic traveling east on Original Henry Road which crossed the center line and collided head-on with the Chevrolet 2500. The driver of the Honda, identified as Jonathan Lee Atkins, 46, of Ferrum, was not wearing a seatbelt and succumbed to his injuries at the scene, we're told. In response to the incident, the Virginia State Police Crash Reconstruction Team was called to assist with the investigation. The crash remains under investigation. And again, folks, a lot that happened this weekend, and we continue to bring you updates to it. Uh, as we talked about the search for Mr. Kenneth Turner, we called up there with Lisa Garrett. She's a fire marshal for Henry County, and she provided us with an update in regards to a fire that happened on Saturday night, but had firefighters there well into Sunday morning. Here's what we've learned. A blaze engulfed a home in Henry County on Saturday night and left the family without a house. Crews were called to the home in the 1300 block of Joseph Martin Highway. The fire was determined right now to be accidental fire. Uh, the source of ignition hasn't been determined at this point in time. Uh, entrance investigators will be coming out later uh, to take a look at it. And uh, for right now, uh, we're, we're on hold until they 
come out. Henry County Fire Marshal Lisa Garrett said there were no injuries reported. So it was a total loss for the home. Uh, it was a single uh, story home with a basement. Uh, two adults lived there. They got out safely along with several pets. Ridgewood District Volunteer Fire Department and the Horse Pasture Volunteer Fire Department along with the Henry County Department of Public Safety responded. Fire Marshal Garrett took the opportunity to remind the community to have working smoke alarms. The county does provide working smoke detectors uh, free. Uh, we will actually set up appointments and come out and install them, uh, or you can pick them up and install them yourself. So we do provide that service at our, at our office. They can call Henry County Public Safety at any time. The American Red Cross has assisted the family. In Henry County, Luis Romero, BTW 21. Again, folks, there's a lot more that we have to get to, so stay tuned. There's more news after this commercial break and message from our sponsors. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family, ages 2 and older, with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided, such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school, and sport physicals, diabetes and chronic medical conditions and so much more we are now accepting new patients our hours are monday through thursday 8 30 a.m to 5 p.m so our family medicine of martinsville is located at 110 commonwealth boulevard west martinsville virginia you can call at 276-666-7328 or visit SoberPhysicians.com slash primary care for more information. New College Institute is offering fiber optic technician courses to give you the proper skills to launch a career in fiber optic design and installation. No prerequisites or experience required. Become 100% certified as a fiber optic technician through our FOA training programs. Average starting salary tops over 60000 a year. Don't hesitate. Go online for details and register for classes. New College Institute. Opportunity. Growth. Success. You're watching BTW 21 News and we thank you for your continued company. Let's turn it over now to Grace Webster as she keeps us updated with the latest in regards to weather. And it looks like we're going to be seeing a warm up this week. Hey everybody and welcome back to BTW 21 Weather brought to you by Ashbrook Audiology. I'm your weather forecaster Grace Webster and let's look at things today at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m., we're going to be sitting at 82 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Looking a little later into today, we're going to be dropping to 76 degrees. And a little bit further into the night, cloudy skies at 66 degrees. Sunset tonight will be at 754. So close to hitting uh, 8 p.m. sunset. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our hometown forecast together. Martinsville will be sitting at 82 degrees, Rocky Mountain at 81, and Stewart staying right here in Martins, like in Martinsville at 82. Rain percentage will be at 15% and 9 mile per hour wind, which, we, which will be keeping us nice and cool from those nice warm 80, 80 degree temps. Let's take a look at our overnight forecast. Martinsville will be cooling off to 66 degrees, Rocky Mountain staying right in the mid 60s, and Stewart right at 65 as well. Chances of rain drop to 8% and uh, wind, uh, wind mileage drops to 3 as well. Cloudy night skies can be expected. And let's go ahead and take a look at my ratings for Tuesday. All right. Eight, uh, our high for tomorrow is going to be 80 degrees with a low of 57 and partly cloudy skies with a very slim chance of rain at 15% and eastern winds at 6 miles per hour with sunrise at 643. An overall rating is a 9 out of 10 day. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at our 5 day forecast together. All right. Partly cloudy skies for uh, Monday and Tuesday, both staying in the 80s. Monday today is going to be uh, right in the mid 80s and cooling off to the 50s tonight. And then Tuesday is cooling off to uh, lo uh, lower 80s. And then Wednesday is going to be all cloudy skies uh, cooling to 50, uh, 50s. And then Thursday, mostly sunny Skies out staying in the mid 80s and then cooling off on Friday, mostly cloudy skies out staying in the higher 70s. 
let's go ahead and take a look at our weekend forecast and good things only last for so long <laughs> Saturday, we do have a high of 77, but we do have a 38% chance of rain with a high of 77 and a low of 50. And Sunday, we have a 59% chance of rain, so a little bit higher than Saturday with a high of 60 and a low of 44. So before heading out on Sunday morning to church, make sure you grab your umbrella. Uh, you can expect a uh, rainy mixture in there and clouds and rain showers. Northwestern winds from 7 to 8 miles per hour and sunrise will be at 6.35 a.m. All right, and as always, we thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us here at BTW 21 Weather, brought to you by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. I'm your weather forecaster, Grace Webster, and we will see you again tomorrow. Hi, Barry Nelson at GR Chevrolet in Stanley Town, the payment king. We got a 2016 Soul, only 169 a month. You could roll in a Soul, that baby only has 50,000 miles. Got a 2020 Chevy Spark. Gets some great gas mileage, gas sipper. Only 187 a month. That's a deal. Got a little SUV. A 2019 Chevy Trax. Got a great buy on it. Only 199 a month. That's a deal. You want a four-door car with 36 miles a gallon? We got a 22 Malibu. Only 279 a month. And great looking car. The payments keep rolling. We've got a 2017 Equinox Premier all-wheel drive, only 60,000 miles, only $255 a month here at GR Chevrolet, where the payments keep rolling. Come see us where everybody knows cars cost less. Welcome to Zimmar Chiropractic, your solution to a pain-free life. With our specialized chiropractic adjustments, we target back and neck injuries, offering tailored treatments for your specific needs. Conveniently located at 3652 Virginia Avenue, our advanced facility includes in-house x-ray machines and skilled massage therapists. Call us now at 276-647-5555 to take the first step towards a healthier and more comfortable you. Zimmer Chiropractic, your path to wellness starts here. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. You're watching BTW 21 News, folks. Welcome back. Again, we thank you so much for spending part of your day with us. We're going to turn it over now to Christian Hall for a look at your sports.
Boyce Holland Veterinary Services since January 1st, 1982. Celebrating 42 years of caring for your furry friends. In 2024, we're overjoyed to mark our 42nd anniversary in the veterinary business. A journey filled with countless wagging tails, we extend our heartfelt thanks to every pet parent who has chosen us over the years. Your loyalty and trust have been the cornerstones of our success. From adorable puppies and kittens to wise seniors, each furry friend has become a cherished part of our extended family. As we celebrate this significant anniversary, we eagerly look forward to many more years of serving our community and being a trusted partner in the health and happiness of your pets. Thank you for 42 positively wonderful years. Here's to many more tail wagon moments together at Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, Stewart, Virginia. For nearly 30 years, Drake Extrusion offers you the personalized service and flexibility of a custom supplier. With research and development based on two continents, Drake is on the cutting edge of polypropylene fiber technology. We work daily with polymer suppliers to improve existing products and meet the challenge of new end uses. We not only value our products, but we also value our employees. For more information, email us at info at drakeextrusion.com or give us a call at 276-632-0159. Welcome back, and now in our lineup, we're going to turn it over to Apex Bell Bonds as they present to us our daily crime report. William Skinner of Bassett charged with driving while intoxicated, second conviction within five to 10 years. Rocky Welch of Collinsville charged with probation violation, felony. Jeremy Atkins of Martinsville charged with distribution, schedule one or two drugs. Marissa Cunningham of Ridgeway charged with probation violation, felony. Heather Harris of Martinsville, charged with false pretenses, obtaining money by under $200, uttering and forgery. Daniel Greenwalt of Martinsville, charged with fail to appear, felony and misdemeanor, drugs, alcohol, screening tests, adulterate sample, Dustin Akers of Martinsville, charged with DWI, first offense. Greg Mosby of Martinsville, charged with drive while license revoked, suspended. Law, command, disregard, or elude, in danger. Kashawn Clark of Martinsville, charged with fail to appear, felony, and misdemeanor. Catherine Vipperman of Martinsville, charged with obstruct, resist, without threats. If you slip up, you need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia-Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Hi, I'm Simone Red, President and CEO of Martinsville First Savings Bank. We would like for you all to come in and see us, see what products that we have and what we can do to serve you. And we like your business. We're a part of this community and we love our community. Martinsville First Savings Bank is located at 25 West Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276 638 
800-888-8771. Whether it's tax season or car buying time, BVT Finances has you covered. No credit, bad credit, no problem. Let PVT Incorporated make this tax season your smoothest ride yet. Get rolling with PVT. Call 276-673-2373 or visit 4264 Appalachian Drive in Fieldville. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. Next in our lineup, we're going to turn it over to Massive Funeral Service, the sponsor of our daily obituary report. Virginia Amos Hodges, 86, of Bassett, Virginia, passed away Thursday, April 11, 2024. A visitation will be held Wednesday, April the 17th at Bassett Funeral Service from 5 to 7 p.m. The funeral will be held Thursday, April the 18th at 1 p.m. at the funeral home. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the family. Wesley Michael Hunley, 46, of Collinsville, Virginia, as the way Tuesday, April the 9th, 2024. A visitation was held Friday, April the 12th at Horsley Road, Bassett, Virginia. A celebration of life will be held at a later date. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving that family. June Irene Artis Williams passed away April the 12th, 2024. Public viewing will be Thursday, April the 18th from 2 to 7 p.m. at Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel. Family visitation will be Friday, April the 19th from 12.30 to 1 at Sunny Home Baptist Church with a funeral service following at 1 p.m. Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel in North Carolina is serving the family. Patty Branscombe Spangler, 79, of Bassett, Virginia, passed away Thursday, April the 10th, 2024. A visitation will be held Friday, April the 19th at Bassett Funeral Service from 11 to 12 p.m. A funeral will be held Friday, April the 19th at 12 p.m. at Bassett Funeral Service. Online condolences may be made by visiting BassettFuneralServices.com. On June 2nd of this year, we will celebrate our 25th year of serving Martinsville and Henry County. 25 years ago, we started as a small funeral home. Then in 2008, we became one of the largest funeral homes serving Martinsville and Henry County. This spring, Bassett Funeral Service purchased some new property for our new crematory and also will be expanding our services into that building. We pride ourselves in our service. As in the beginning, uh, Bassett Funeral Service started at zero and over the few years we have become one of the leading funeral homes in the area and I think that is because we are providing a tremendous service to our families. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniel's Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Greetings, I am Quentin Walton, Director of Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Our staff is committed to serve you continuously. Service for all within the means of all is our goal for the community. We have a professional staff qualified to serve you and your family to help you gain knowledge, especially in pre-need borough planning, insurance strategies to promote wealth for you and your family. Having 29 years of excellent service 
The establishment is now serving two locations. Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, 219 Dillard School Drive, Yanceyville, North Carolina. Phone 336-694-4881. And Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel, 417 Price Street, Eden, North Carolina. Phone 336-627-3300. Website, www.fultonwaltonfuneralhome.com. Allow us, the Fulton Walton Funeral Home staff, to help you and your family in your time of bereavement. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Are you looking for a big southern breakfast or home-cooked meats and vegetables? Come join us at the Sirloin House, where we have a breakfast buffet seven days a week and a lunch buffet Sunday through Friday. We've been serving this community since 2001 at 207 South Van Buren Road, Eden, North Carolina. Enjoy the buffet for only $10.49. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina, and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry-out or catering needs. And ladies and gentlemen, it's going to do it here for my time on this Monday edition of BTW 21 News. As always, we thank you so very much for keeping us Martinsville's news leader. As always, there's a lot that is going on, so we encourage you to head on over to btw21.com or give us a follow on our social media pages so you see breaking news as it happens. Folks, we will continue to keep you updated with the big story, the search that is underway for Mr. Kenneth Turner on social media and here on air. So stay tuned for all of that because the search will continue into the evening hours on this Monday, and we believe it will take place as well on Tuesday. Again, you can count on us to bring you with the latest in regards to that. Have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Chopsticks, Martinsville's largest, nicest restaurant, serving hibachi, sushi, Chinese, and Asian cuisine. Daily lunch special starting out at $7.49 to $11.25 every day. Drink specials and mouth-watering entrees at Chopsticks in Martinsville. Don't forget about our sushi specials every Monday and Thursday. Dine in or carry out at 632-8898. Chopsticks, located across from Baymont Inn. New College Institute is a premier educational facility for students, businesses, and the community at large. Expand your career opportunities by getting certifications in advanced manufacturing, technology, healthcare industries, and much more. NCI now offers GWO certified training in one of the fastest growing industries, wind energy. You can also earn your degree from one of our partner Virginia universities, all while staying close to home. Get started today and let New College Institute help you achieve your goals. Embark on a flavor-filled journey at El Palmar Mexican Grill. Indulge in authentic Mexican street food, Tex-Mex, and mouth-watering American classics, all at irresistible prices. Dive into delights like shrimp tacos, birria tacos, hot wings and fries, quesabirria, gran burritos, and beyond. Quench your thirst for refreshing horchata and jamaica, why wait? Give them a ring at 276-806-4877 and experience a culinary adventure from Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Elevate your taste buds 